What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This time we got Uncle Shay Shannon Sharp, and he defended Angel Reese from all the hell she catching from the media. Social media is in an uproar because on the way to winning her national championship for LSU, she did the John Cena You Can't See Me taunt in the face of Caitlin Clark, who ironically has made that her signature taunt against her opponents. Uncle Shay pointed out that this hate is racially motivated because Angel Reese is unapologetically her and unapologetically black. And it's obvious why the media has a problem with it. If it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I do it was a person, it would be Angel Reese, real rap. But Unc wasn't having it. And it feels good to have a voice in the media, especially someone who's a former player, although in a completely different sport, who isn't afraid to keep it 100 and call out people on their BS. 48 hours ago, when 48 hours ago, when, she, when Caitlin Clark did this, uh, uh, John Cena, it was considered swag. 48 hours later, Angel Reese does the exact same gesture. It's classless. Keith Oberman went as far as to say she was an idiot, not just an idiot, an effing idiot, for you to stoop so low to call a, to call a, a college kid, a female, because she did a gesture. When you didn't say anything with Caitlin Clark did it. It's funny how, Skip, it's funny how America, society sees black and white. White person does the exact same gesture. Skip, you know one of the greatest talkers in NBA history, you covered the guy, was Larry Bird. He was never criticized. One of the greatest talkers in NFL football is who? Phillip Rivers. He was never criticized. Angel Reese talked about this all year. Skip, if you don't, if you remember 48 hours earlier, Don Staley foretold of this. Many chalked it up as being sour grapes because she had lost. And lo and behold, everything that she spoke of came to fruition the moment Angel Reese did that gesture. The moment she did this and the moment she started uh, uh, pointing at her finger talking about she about to get a ring. Mm -hmm. Twitter went and it started trending and it went into a haywire. And I was just there to read the comments. I, I didn't want to see the comments. I'm like, really? Re I'm, like, I'm like, one of our own, Danny Cannell, that used to work here, told me it was classless. Who, who, Danny Cannell. Oh, Danny Cannell. Yeah, Skip, I'm like, hold on. So I went back and see, did he say anything about Kayla Clark? Was it classless when she did it? Mm. No, con not, nothing. Everybody loved it. Skip, a lot of these women in college basketball, a lot of the black athletes, they have their hair like, they have their light lashes on, they have their, they have their nails done. There, a lot of them are tatted up, some of them had dreads. So they don't project the role. And like she said, I don't fit your image. I don't fit the box that you want me to fit in. Mm -hmm. And I'm cool with that. Angel Reese is what we call, un she said unapologetically me, she meant yep. unapologetically black. Yes. And she's talking about the little black girl, don't you feel some type of way? Mm -hmm. You represent who you are, you stand proud, and yep. you stand on what you believe in. Skip, this was a great game. And unfortunately, Skip, we're not really talking about the demolition job that they did. It was a great game for LSU. Yes, yes. yes. It was, Skip, I mean, it got closed. That Kalen Carr came out here to cover three. Did you ever really? No, I, no, I, I never no, really no, no. They had spent their wad Friday night beating South Carolina. They did. But Skip, I mean, well, how do we? It's so obvious what this is. This, Skip, this is not about anything else other than race. And I wish, I wish we didn't have to talk about it. I wish you and I could come out here and talk about what a great game. And Kim Mulkey, she did an unbelievable job. She in does. only her second year. Yep. She put LSU, they're a power now. People got to respect this basketball, women's college yep. basketball program. She's one of the two or three greatest coaches, probably Geno, Coach Pat Summit. Now you got to go Kim Mulkey, the third greatest college female basketball coach in history. I'll buy that. And but what we're talking about, because right down the middle, we see two different gestures. And one is, is a celebration, is celebrated as, whoo, is celebrated. The other is condemned. And why? Only because a black did the exact same gesture that a white female did 48 hours earlier. Skip, now don't forget now, you know, Caitlin Clark been talking that ish. All, you remember her and the, uh, the Louisville player got into it? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody know that's swag. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Caitlin Clark, she liked that. That's the mamba mentality. Mm -hmm. Everybody was loving it. You're down 15, shut up. Angel Reese, Angel Reese can't say nothing. Yeah. Angel Reese do that. Why, why are you doing that? You're not the NBA this night. Yada, yada, yada. They had so much negativity to say. 
is that our expression, we've always been very expressive. Jack Johnson started his, Jack Johnson started his 1900 skip when he would beat their white heavyweight champion that they hated it. And they came up with these Trump charges to get him. They really despised Muhammad Ali skip because he was a lyricist with this. The comments being made about Angel Reese in the media are unwarranted, unnecessary, and unprofessional by all involved. But it's cool because what they doing without even noticing is adding to her legend and making her an even bigger deal and an even bigger star. Can you imagine if they reach the national championship again next year? And then what if they win it? It's over. I mean, it ain't like she got to worry about getting drafted to the WNBA anytime soon. You got to be 22 to do that. I think she a dub. And for real, for real, I just saw that she's making about 380000 in college, which is far more than she's making the A anyway. And that's just based off the fact that she leads all college athletes and NIL deals with 17, I believe. So what you think gonna happen now that she's a national champion? They can't stop what's meant for you, and she a living testament to that. But let me know what you think. Hit that comment section. I want your opinion. That like button. I'm out.